Hi guys, welcome to Juba Restaurant and Grocery Store. This is a restaurant and a grocery store all in one. So you can come and get some food to eat, or you can shop, get some food to go cook at home, or you can do both. As you can see, they have amazing food. I love sambusas. I love Somalian food. I love my Somalians. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to um, give you guys a little tour before we dive into the food. So... I hope you enjoy the video and don't forget to stop by and say hi. Hi, Captain Kagaway. I'll make Satoha Kashana until then. Kolka and Kutaya, Kalga Aila, you go see a corner. I ain't trying to get us one come my way. But you're still the one I want to. So many kill it one block my way. So we're sitting outside of Juba Restaurants, a Somalian restaurant here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. The food was actually pretty good. I didn't get to, I didn't get to try the chicken, but the pasta, I'm not a fan of pasta, but I thought the pasta yeah. was, was I thought good. the pasta was really good too. Um, okay, so we are going to get right into um, today's topic, and um, that is, can you be pro-black and have a spouse who is not black? inquiring minds would like to know that's uh, yes. that's the question of the day so right so i was watching a lot of videos on this topic this morning so i wrote a few comments that i saw and i thought it were pretty interesting to share so first thing first is someone said pro black means black everything all black everything all black no no if ands or buts no, no maybes you can't black, switch it right? you can't <laughs> you better make up your mind right and it better be black you gotta pick a side okay it's gotta either be. one or the other all right and then the next one is people are upset about people dating outside of their race and she was like um that basically is called racism so if you are mad because somebody else is dating someone else from a different race that's racist why do you care who they sleeping with right hmm hmm, hmm. and uh oop. and uh oop. <laughs> moving okay, on moving on moving on and then someone say sure you can we need people um of different um different perspective loving each other i i somewhat agree with that i i definitely agree actually um and then another one said this is really deep it says you cannot fight oppression and laying down with the oppressor Ooh. Ooh. um but so is that saying, who is the oppressor? So if you said, can you be pro-black and have a spouse that is not black? I think a lot of people automatically make this a black and white thing. Yeah. So what if your, what if the your significant other is Native American or Latina or Asian or Middle Eastern? Right. Are they oppressor? Um. So the 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 next one is someone said black plus white equals oil and water see again when it when i think it's it's such a divide with black and white yin and yang day and night that that is that's the glaring um perspective that most people get when you when you say can you have someone that's not black they mm -hmm. automatically think white yep exactly I, I don't know why it is that way but it's like always black and white black and white that's it because if black and white is oil and water what is black and latin what is black and asian what is black Ooh. and native what is black and middle eastern what is black and alien oh that's deep yeah okay i come in peace <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't do that you can't, what, 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 you're putting up gang signs oh no 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 <laughs> so the last one is loves this person is like hey love who you want to love okay mm -hmm. But if you are in an interracial relationship, please do not speak on black issues publicly because you look like a hypocrite. Um, and people who speak publicly should lead by example. Mm. Mm. So I, I can understand where everybody else is coming from. But we're going to talk about our own, like, I guess, perspective on, on this. Okay. So... Uh, let's start off with the, the last one, you know, love who you love, but if you're going to be in an interracial relationship, 
keep it on the low. Don't talk publicly about yeah. it because you look like a walking, talking hypocrite is what this last person was saying. You got to lead yeah. by example. So Practice what you preach. Okay. So how do we feel about Colin Kaepernick? Ooh. So Colin Kaepernick is a biracial man. Mm -hmm. Played for the San Francisco 49ers when he was making a big stand, taking a knee when the national anthem was being played. We wouldn't have a Colin Kaepernick if it wasn't. Oh, I see where he's going. I, I mean, I, I mean I, I, well, you gonna I, do I, that, my dad? Don't, don't you come for my neck? Wow, that's why I got it. I got it up here like this. I was like, where is he going with this? I'm like, to, ain't about to wait get a my minute. Neck. Yeah, not about to get my neck. So. <laughs> don't shoot the messenger. I'm just, you know, Jesus are just glaring observations. I mean, like, I don't have the answers. I'm a student of life with questions because I, yes. I don't have the answers. So, um, another example, Childish Gambino, and all the videos I watched, they brought him, they brought him it. up as an example. Speak on it. They're like, hey, can child is he pro black, mm. right? Because you know the 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 music video, the music he dropped out like last year, right? Um, you know this is America, yeah. And he is in a relationship with a white woman. Okay. So they were like, can he be pro black and be in a relationship? Well, he is. Well, like because he's in a relationship with a white woman didn't stop him from making this is America. Like he's so they're basically saying you can't be woke if you were with someone from a different race. Okay. Jordan Peele, he may get out. He may us. Yes. His wife is Jewish. So the people that seem to be complaining the most, that's vocally, yeah. that's speaking publicly about who you can and cannot date outside of the race and all this other stuff, what are they doing? Exactly. Do they even have a YouTube channel You're talking about black issues? You're probably eating down in the basement. In your boxers with some dirty <laughs> socks on, yes. talking about, Mom, I don't want to take out the trash. Because you a bum. Exactly. So do and some work. Do some heavy lifting. We before um, we even started this video, we had uh, a conversation with a friend on the phone. Yeah. And um, he said, because I asked him, I'm like, hey, I want to hear your perspective on this. And yeah. he's like, being pro black is not only for black people. Mm. Okay. You. Could what did be, he mean by that? Let them have that. Let you could be white and be pro black. Uh. Okay, it's what he meant. What you else could, can you be? Anything and be pro black. It's uh. not. Like, why do people, why are people having all these limitations? Like, it's so limited. Mm. And it's becoming a very extreme and toxic thing, actually, okay. to be pro-black. For it example, black. Uh, for example, Zach. Yeah. I'll put you on blast like oh. I always do. Zach is in an interracial relationship. <laughs> Let him know. I just dropped the bump. Oh. Oh. <laughs> put I just dropped the bump. Put me on front street. But here's street. the thing, though. Yeah. Zach and his wife are very much involved in the community, okay? His wife, she's always, you know, like, stand up for what's right, um, you know, like, with the South Dakota versus for uh, South Dakota against uh, racism. She's always there um, supporting people and showing love. So I have seen Zach and his wife, like, very much involved in the, in the community. Mm -hmm. And like Zach said, we're both students of life. Like, that's how I look at it. Like, I'm not just going to... Like, I understand when people say they're pro-black because they want to keep the culture. They want to support black people. You can still do that. Right. My, ex my example earlier was, or my question earlier was, like, if you have two people running for, or multiple people oh, running, for, running for Senate or an, uh, uh, an office, mm -hmm. and then the, a black man and a white dude or someone who's not black. And the black man is straight up trash. Like he has no future. But like, he has a black wife, a black family. Yeah. But his his the things that he stand by and live by it's trash. his values. Yeah. It's not for the black it's community. It's not for the black community. And he has no future to uh, you know, to for the community. Like basically he's trash. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Do you still support him because you want to keep the culture alive and you want to support you want to support your people? You want to keep be all pro-black, pro-black? Or do you be like, hey, you know what? What actually matters right now? Like, this guy right here, even though he's not black, mm. he makes sense and I'm going to support him and not support the other one. Like, what do you do in this case? Yeah, I mean, do you still just vote for him? Do you just still just vote him because he's black? Right. Nah, get out of here. I mean, yeah. I mean, so th there, it, there takes some discernment. There takes some uh, educating and awareness on our own part it's like you can't i mean you can a lot of people do this they just show up and 
just whatever the preacher feeds them or whatever the leader or whoever feeds them and then they eat that and they regurgitate that information out hopefully it's good but sometimes it's toxicity it's bad information yeah, it's, bad it's holding a culture back you know the first you know the first people to say no intermarriage you know who they were who? slave masters oh so you regurgitating what your slave master told you you can't be with a person that is not a we need black babies to produce more black babies and then we're going to snatch them black babies and sell them off on a, on a, on a selling block somewhere else. Like, so, I mean, like there's a, there's a certain mindset of like, are you, are you still being crippled and captivated by that? Or are you moving forward and thinking about the human species and, and thinking of how we can grow? And rather it's, if, if I think black love is beautiful. Like I love, I lo love like black there's a movie love. called Queen and Slim. I'm Ooh, going to watch. I'm, yes. my, me and my mom wait. is going to go watch that. I can't wait to watch that. Yeah, my mom and my wife we're going to all go watch that. And like, black love is some of the strongest force. Yeah, known it's to man. powerful. It's beautiful. It's amazing. Damn, I just want some black love right now. <laughs> right, sounds <laughs> <was> so good. <sighs> so you have you have. How do people feel about Obama? It goes back to like the Kaepernick thing, right? You know, like he's biracial, right? And Michelle Obama, beautiful black woman. This is his queen. They have black children. Do these people, think of this, the people that are most big advocates on the black community and pushing, trying to push the black, black culture forward, do they vocally say you can't be with other people outside of the black community? It's usually kind of like, small voices like the people that's just commenters got these <laughs> trolls online and they say some of the most wickedest stuff they call you everything but a child of god right and then you go to their channel and they either have a fake name or they have a real name but they have no picture they have no content they don't even like videos you know so it's like are you just a robot like you literally judging it? me, but you doing nothing. What is the action that you right. putting forth? What kind of how are you contributing to society right now? And these are the other type than of people, I don't go like I don't even bother commenting back or going head yeah. to head. Like, bro, I'm not about to talk to a robot. Like, yeah. that's just not what I do. But, like a lot of times, um, like on some of the videos, I think I had like I, I deleted a few. <laughs> of them. I'm like, bro, I can't, can't deal. I, can't I just can't. Deal. I just can't take that negativity. Mm. somewhere else not right. here if you're going to be in a relationship with someone regardless of their race you should have at least talk to someone and see if you guys have the same values right yeah. Yeah. and so if you're pro-black or whatever you want to call yourself you know obviously you don't want to be with someone who you're going to like who doesn't have the same value who's not going to go protest with you when you, you when you need to like for example zach and his wife their goals like yeah okay you know so what i mean people don't realize this but like because I, I don't I feel like when you're an activist and you uh, you're an advocate for the community and you're doing things, you don't really have to brag and boast like your work is going to speak for itself. You're right. My wife went to the Million Man March with me. Million Man March is Damn. Islam. It's Nation of Islam is all it's very it's just one of the as pro black as you can get. And guess what? They was happy that she was there. And we was like, you know, taking pictures with we saw. um you know, Dougie Fresh was there. Snoop Dogg was there. Um, yeah, it was some big name celebrities there. Menace Lewis Farrakhan. Oh, wow. You know, so like, are you doing the work or are you just on the sidelines judging? When we think of pro-black, we also say, um, think of some of our historical civil right black leaders. Now, to be pro-black, they say, oh, you got to be, you know, you got to be black. It's all black, everything. You got to think black, sleep black, everything black. The black leaders that were killed... Oh, our black leaders that were killed. Are you going there? They were killed by pro-black members. They had a black family, black everything. Because if you had anyone that was your significant other that wasn't black, I guess you wasn't part of the movement, right? Man, it really be your own. <laughs> <laughs> it just really be your own. Now, um, you can so someone could say. All right, if you're not married or you're not with or you're not dating someone that's black and they might be native Asian or whatever, you in bid with one 
how many of these so-called pro-black people are in bed with multiple people, businesses? Like they getting money from white corporations. Maybe they work for a white corporation. Like metaphorically, how many people are you in bed with as a pro-black person? Are you, do you only support black businesses? Okay, if that's the case, why you got on a Gucci shirt? Why you got a, a Louis Vuitton bag? Why you got the red bottom shoes? Are those black owned businesses? Like, so like, if you want, if you, pro-black is what that first quote say? Go. Pro-black means black everything. everything. So like, I so mean, bro, again, why like, are you eating lasagna, huh? Why are you, you eating tacos? Why are you eating tacos right. and lasagna out here every Saturdays? You jabroni? Stick to your chicken. Oh, but hey, like, don't even. <laughs> all right, all right. But like, people are picky and choosy about like what's pro black, how we define that. Yeah. If you can be for the cause, for the community. Like, honestly, at the end of the day, are you contributing to uplift? And especially for our next generation, we got babies out here, we got the youth out here that looking up to us. And if we just keep pulling each other down because we judging about, think of this. How many times have you got um, a black? Okay, you could be you could be a black person with a black spouse, and they still gonna judge like, oh, yeah. her she she too dark, oh. or she too light, or she thinks she all that. Like they gonna just but judge you regardless. Though, within the African community, <laughs> yeah. If you are, for example, if you are from let pick, let's say you're from Tanzania, yeah. Both of, you and your spouse are both from Tanzania, but different villages. Yep. You can't be together. Yeah. Different it's, tribes. It's tribal. Like, all literally, you just yeah. can't be together. So, like, they make it so difficult. Like, yeah. Yeah, yo, that's crazy. It's that just, it's crazy. very divisive. So, like, it's it's hard when you're trying to push the needle forward in a positive direction when you got all these voices and all these people on the outside telling you how you can live your life and how you can find happiness, right. how you can find love. You can't, you can't make black people happy. You can't make other people that's not black happy somebody is always going to judge who you mad. love and who you're going to be with so forget everybody and just live your life and be live happy like someone is gonna hit the dislike button right now we we already know you this video is meant to reach just we just it's one person that is watching this entire video and it's going to hit home shout out to you yep. thank you and, for and, you know maybe it's going to be more than one person but the point is that it's going to reach somebody that need to hear this message and and I bet it's going to motivate them to start contributing and doing things. If they already doing things, it's going to make them turn up and do it, do it even more for the community. Because they they might be on the fence because they like, yo, I'm dating someone that's not black. But I really, you know, she she might be like, you know, I'm black and I'm with the black cause, but I like this guy and he's not black or whatever. Yeah. And she on the fence, but she thinking about organizing, you know, a all black women's march or whatever. But she got this doubt because the community is telling her she can't do these things because of who she loved. Like, right. like we got to stop up. putting up barriers for ourselves. Stop we tripping walls. ourselves. Building. Stop building walls and build what? Bridges. We need build to start bridges. building bridges. That's the focus. Yeah. So anyways, we don't want to make this any longer, yeah. but thank you guys for watching. Um, I feel like there will be, you know, part two, maybe in the future, who knows? Yeah. But we'll definitely talk more about other other things. Uh, you had really great topics, you know, that we might Oh, yeah, yeah, we, we got might, some more top, topics. We might coming, get into. So. But, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Subscribe. Don't forget to comment. That's Nadifa says. Um, yeah, and I'm going to put Zach's um, YouTube info. Zach Van Harris. Hey, Van Harris. peace, love, smiles, truth, galaxy. I'm Zachary. I see you. You already know. Hey. All right, so have a blessed um, day or night. See you guys next time. Bye. Peace. No, how, what do you say? <laughs> Peace, truth. love, smiles, truth, galaxy. Peace, I'm Zachary. Peace, love. I see oh, yeah. You, you know what? Let's just hey, end the video. Be kind Let's to yourself. Be kind to others. Yes. Be kind to nature. Universe will support you. The, yes, I will support you. And I. Oh.